How's it going, folks? Welcome to this week's episode of Galactic Tactics, your home for all things Twin Suns and Star Wars Unlimited. This week, we will be talking about uh, pre-con upgrades for the starter decks. You get the Vader one and the Luke Skywalker one. Uh, for this episode, we'll be focusing on the Luke Skywalker upgrade to make it uh, Twin Suns ready. Uh, but first, I want to shout out uh, Robert for being our new editor on the show. Thank you for all you do and what you're doing. have been friends for a long time. Um, and with that, let's get into it. So starting off, uh, we're really going to keep most of um, the deck intact. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is get your uh, just singles down to everything, which leaves you to a total of 27 cards. One moment. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26. Of course, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. A total of 29 cards. Math is hard. Um, so we're going to really keep the, the core of the deck intact. You know, you, you bought the deck. Um, let's use all the cards in it um, and use this as a baseline to get into Twin Suns and Multiplayer. So by the end of these videos, you should have, you know, two working decks, uh, one for you, one for a friend. Um, and then whatever else you've uh, pulled through booster packs, you can start building in decks. That's really how I started my Thrawn deck was just taking all the cards from booster packs and putting them all together, which is super fun and really easy with a singleton format. So starting with the base cards, like I said, we're going to do uh, one of all the cards that we have. Uh, some of them you already only have uh, one of, like the Han Solo um, and the Obi-Wan Kenobi. So the, the rares you'll, you'll only have one of, um, but a few you'll need to, to, to pull out, um, like the ones that are just in the deck, like Luke's, uh, Luke's lightsaber. Um, so taking that, uh, we're going to start uh, by talking about our leader. Uh, so Luke Skywalker, he's a six drop, uh, four seven. Um, while he's in the, the leader zone for his action, uh, for a resource and exhaust him, give a shield token to a heroic unit you played this phase. Um, you probably won't be using this, so probably round or uh, turn three, turn four, um, as you're really trying to build up your um, units in either the, the ground or the space. Um, so you'll be using him a little bit later, and uh, then you can deploy him for the six, and then when you deploy him, he becomes a four seven. On attack, you may give another unit a shield token. Super awesome. Um, anytime you attack, I always attack with Luke first. That way I can either swing into a base or if they have Sentinel, uh, maybe trade with another one, give some of that shield token so that um, you can finish off, you know, a, a Vader, which we'll get, we'll talk about the other one. Um, in playtesting, Luke Skywalker is um, a super awesome leader. He comes out kind of in the mid game. Um, and then for this deck, we're going to pair him with his sister, Leia Organa. So this is kind of a, a take on my Twins of Twin Sons video that uh, we released uh, last week. So it's going to start playing like this. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. You're going to use a whole lot of the same cards um, and really could use all the same cards. Um, that, that deck core that we built there. Uh, so for Leia, uh, while she is in the leader zone for an action, uh, you exhaust her, attack with a rebel unit, then you may attack with another rebel unit. So we're attacking with rebels. We're definitely going to put as many rebels as we can in the deck to get that going, uh, cheating out the resource economy, making sure that we are attacking with everything we possibly can. And then you can deploy her on five. So a turn before Luke, um, so she's five drop, three, six, raid one. So when she attacks, she gets that plus one. So she becomes a four, six. And then when this unit completes an attack, you may attack with another unit. So you're still doing that uh, aggressive aggro, um, except this time you're starting with Leia and then getting another attack behind her. Um, so you can use it to pop Luke um, as he is also a rebel. Give a shield to another unit uh, you think might, you know, be attacked on this turn, this round, this phase. Um, or um, you can also make sure that it, that shield token goes somewhere in space to protect that as well. For the base, we're going to keep the uh, the base. Make sure we have that cunning. So all together, we are doing vigilance, command, and cunning cards. Uh, the first thing that we are going to do is add all of our um, command cards, as that's our new color. That's where a lot of this deck is going to be. Already having those thirty cards, you only need twenty to uh, fill out the deck for until we have that third um, until we have that third set. Uh, but I rounded it up to 60 um, in the card list. Um, that is because I can buy uh, packs of sleeves in 60 right now. So that's what I'm going to do uh, because it's the easiest. Um, 
I like a nice round number. Um, for now, you can either take out the cards you don't have, um, go up to 80. Um, but right now, the 60 seems to be kind of the uh, the sweet spot uh, with the decks. My Thrawn deck only has or has uh, 80 cards in it, uh, just to kind of get ready um, as I'm building. It's going to be my main deck. Um, but the uh, Luke and Vader precons I've got sitting at 60, um, so that way it's they're a little more focused. Starting with the units, um, we're going to talk about Agent Callus. Agent Callus is definitely a command staple. Um, got shorts about him. I've got him in probably every single video. Um, he is right now my favorite uh, Twin Suns unit as he's not heroic, he's not villainy. You can put him in any single command deck um, and with there being you know three out of four colors, you can put him in 75% of the decks you're, you're going to build. Um, so he's a five drop, four, four, Imperial Trooper. Not a rebel, um, but we don't care about that. What we want is the... Um, is the effect so when another unique unit is defeated you may draw a card use this ability only once per face um, so we're getting that card draw we can get them down on that turn four hopefully if we're command we're definitely ramping up um, with that resupply with the um, alliance dispatcher um, just trying to get get a little bit of ramp um, i always make sure that i have or try to um, get a resupply in my starting hand or another ramp card um, just kind of helps you know ramp into your leader ramp into your bigger stuff um really gives you that swing um so with mulliganing you get a free one you have to keep your second one so if i don't have a uh, resupply i'm going to re-roll try to get it on that second time so i can ramp into things um and then you can use agent callus and get get some of that card draw again it is another unique unit um, not just yours uh, but anyone on the table and with us playing in a singleton format you are um probably going to get a um, unique unit on the field and defeated. After that, we're looking at Lando Calrissian, another one, um, another unit that I really find kind of underrated right now, really slept on. He's a six drop uh, fringe official. Again, not a rebel yet, um, but we want him for his effect. Um, he is really kind of that, that late game, could possibly be a finisher um, with his effect. Um, return up to two friendly resources to their owner's hands. Um, I say this all the time, you know, at first glance, this is a detriment. Uh, you, you're, you're losing out on resources. But if you had to put, you know, that, that large drop, that Chimera down, one of those other capital ships um, for, for any deck, um, you had to, had to resource it, you get it back, um, and then you can play it to, to kind of finish out the game as you're continuing to kind of rebuild those resources. But you have um, resupply in there, uh, Alliance Dispatcher, so that you can kind of keep that ramp going. Um, nice pair for a heroism deck. Um, if you are uh, ahead, you can just pay those resources um, and then play your, your big bombs that you had to resource uh, at the beginning of the game. And then we're going to get into Luke Skywalker. He is our legendary for the deck. Obviously, you need more Luke Skywalker in a Luke Skywalker deck, right? Uh, so he's not in the deck um, as his uh, legendary. So he is a 767 Force Jedi Rebel. So you get that Rebel tagline so you can attack with Leia. Or has Restore 3. Um, so he can uh, kind of help build you back up as you try to win. Uh, remember, um, you only need to defeat one other opponent in order to win they lose um, and then whoever defeats them gets that extra five health so hopefully if you're putting that killing blow um, with luke skywalker you're getting seven health back and that can possibly put you in the lead and then also when played give an enemy unit minus three minus three this phase if a friendly unit was defeated this phase give that unit or give an enemy unit minus six minus six so this is also targeted removal so you're healing you've got targeted removal um big body Luke Skywalker does it all. Uh, probably why he's one of the most sought after cards of this set right now. I think he's sitting, or he was sitting at about $45 last time I checked. So this is going to be the big one. Um, most of the budget is going to go to Luke Skywalker. Um, everything else in here, you know, not too expensive um, at the time. But um, you can, you don't necessarily need him, uh, but he is definitely a, a great finisher for the deck. Then for our rebel officials, uh, Mon Mothma, she is a two, one, three, one played, search top five cards of your deck for a rebel card, reveal it and draw it, card advantage. Um, kind of being able to go through your deck, um, grab the card you want um, with this being Singleton. Um, you, you don't necessarily have 
an answer for everything in your hand all at once. You don't have multiple copies. So being able to delve into your library um, and, and try to grab something or another unit, grab that Luke Skywalker to finish it off, um, grab that Alliance Dispatcher, grab Lando to grab something back, um, giving you more options. You definitely want options. You want to see more cards as you are playing the game. And then Bail Organa. Uh, he is a one drop, uh, one two, also a rebel. Uh, you're not really going to attack with him, but you can search him up with Mon Mothma. Uh, for his action, you exhaust him and give an experience token to another friendly unit. There are a lot of experience uh, givers in this deck and they all stack up. You can stack up shields, you can stack up um, experience tokens. And again, you're kind of cheating that resource economy. Um, the more power you're putting onto the field, kind of the, the more ahead of curve uh, you, you are. Um, games of Twin Sun are a lot faster than Magic. So the, the you really have to develop your board quickly. Um, and by using one card for an action, give an experience token to somebody, whether it's about to be defeated or you're gonna use it to uh, swing into another leader or a big, bigger attacker against you, um, that one damage, that one um, health helps out a lot, um, getting you ahead of the resource economy. Up next, Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. It's a trap. I mean, you can't have a, a rebel deck without Admiral Akbar. Uh, again, we're still kind of looking at all these command um, units that we are adding to the deck. These are all cards that you know don't start in the starting deck. Um, so adding command um, kind of gives that a little extra but um, extra push to the bottom, so that you have a little bit more to do. Uh, so with Admiral Akbar, he is a three drop, one for rebel official. Again, we're getting that rebel tagline. Uh, restore one, and then when played, you may deal damage to a unit equal to the number of units you control in this arena. So on the ground, if you have four units there, uh, when you drop them, you get to do a little targeted removal. Target removal, very good, as there's only two or three um, targeted removal cards um, in the game so far. So if you can get it on a body, um, either as a defender, um, something to restore you with, you um, kind of get that two for one. Uh, Wedge Antilles, he is a five, five, five rebel. Lots of fives. I want to, Wedge Antilles has become fives. He's not a clone, but he's fives. Um, each friendly vehicle gets plus one, plus one, and gains ambush. After you play that unit, it may ready and attack an enemy unit. So there is a decent amount of vehicles in the deck. There are a total of uh, 15 space units, and I believe uh, three or four more ground units. So that's a little less than 20 total units that helps. So half of all of your units um, get buffed by Wedge Antilles, and again, the more we can um, cheat the, the resource economy, giving everything plus one, plus one for every other vehicle. Uh, you can think of Wedge as, you know, becoming a 5-5, five, five, and then you have a vehicle, he comes 6-6, six, six, and other vehicles, he's 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, kind of buffing, getting that anthem across the board uh, to go with General Dodonna. General um, so that's plus two, plus two for all of your rebel units. Um, if, there are a few uh, rebel um vehicles in as well so just kind of those big anthems are, are, are going to be awesome kind of building out this deck and then to finish off the command um kind of big hitters uh, we're going to home one it's an eight drop seven seven uh restore two and then each other friendly unit gains restore one another great closer um dropping this um using your smaller units to kind of go into someone's base and then finishing off with home one um to get that final restore and maybe that killing blow onto a base um, as you're kind of building up your your own base again and that's what we're really looking at um in the command cards is uh, getting that restore um, to, to build your base back up after you know all the battles have been going on. Um, and then when played, uh, you may play a heroic unit from your discard pile. It costs three less. So that Luke Skywalker from earlier uh, becomes a, a four drop for you. Um, so it's a lot easier to get on, especially if you um, are in the end game. That's still a lot of mana, but there's a few that you could play for free. Like Admiral Akbar, you could play for free. Mon Mothma, you could play for free. Bill Organa, you could play for free if you need any of those cards. Um, so there's a few um, different options you could play for free. And then um, just kind of looking at the colors we already have, uh, we did add a couple finishers into uh, the deck, starting with Redemption Medical Frigate. Uh, it's an eight drop, so another big uh, capital ship. Uh, six nine uh, Sentinel. Uh, you, obviously, Unisense Arena can't 
uh, attack your non settled units to your base. Uh, but when played, heal up to eight total damage from any number of units and or bases. Deal that much damage to this unit. So you can use redemption uh, to, to heal up um, and then kind of swing in um, if you have wedge out onto the board, um, hopefully doing possibly a finisher or just kind of slam it into something big um, if you do need to heal up a few of your, your units. Um, again, not necessarily the, the biggest finisher, but something that can really set you up for a finish. Uh, healing that total damage from uh, your units or base, um, you're, you're still left uh, with one health onto your redemption. So with that six attack, uh, you can swing into a base, swing into another enemy unit, um, and really start the end game. Not enough to do it by itself, uh, but kind of using those shield tokens, experience tokens where you're using with... Um, from Luke, uh, Bail Organa, um, and then even getting those double attacks off with Leia, that is uh, 10 damage right there just between uh, Redemption and uh, Leia if you can get it around for, for one more turn, or even just healing up um, one of your, your bigger units, one of your other capital ships, uh, even one of the Luke Skywalker. And then for Cunning, uh, this is where we're getting a lot of our space units. Um, so not all the space units are Rebels, but we definitely need a presence in the space arena. Um, a lot of these space units are, are great, um, giving you different, you know, options, um, in there with strafing gunship, it alleged, allows you, uh, from the space to attack something on the ground, uh, giving it minus two minus zero. Um, so for some folks, um, or for some units, you can, you know, kind of take that down to zero and kind of get an auto kill on, on one of those units to help kind of keep it protected in space, but also focus on the, the ground units. Um, right now everything's very ground unit based um, so kind of have that that quick protection um, and a force on either um, the the ground or the sky defeating into bases um, is going to be awesome just kind of covering your bases um, you can also make sure you, you give it those um, experience tokens uh, the shield tokens uh, maybe not so much um, until after you get Luke in, uh, but giving shield tokens to your space units um, is definitely what we're looking to do in this deck. Um, again, as not a lot of folks have that that space presence, uh, people are really looking at the ground units. Um, obviously, the flashiest you have your your heroic characters in there. You got your Luke Skywalker on the ground, Chewbacca's on the ground, Han's on the ground, Leia's on the ground. So people are sleeping on the, the space units, uh, kind of forgetting about it, thinking of it as an after effect. Uh, but we have the Falcon as well. So the Falcon is a three drop, three, four um, enters um, play ready. Um, not a rebel, uh, but it is a vehicle in, in, in space. And when you ready cards during the regroup phase, you can pay mana, not a mana, you can pay a resource. Um, return this unit to your hand if you don't, um, but you can do smuggling compartment. That way you kind of get that free resource uh, still using that resource that you're getting back the smuggling compartment from attacking with Millennium Falcon uh, to pay for that cost. A uh, little cumulative upkeep, but sometimes, you know, you don't want to pay that. Um, you can keep uh, the, the Falcon uh, kind of good to go. So kind of uh, think of it as a repair. If you're not paying it, you're sending it back uh, to get repairs into your hand so you can play it again. Plays ready, you can attack with it. So if you have that mana that you, if you have the resources that you've been building up, I uh, haven't pulled up anything with Lando yet, you have the ramp from resupply, um, then you can kind of keep dropping it every turn, um, especially in the later game uh, while you're kind of going into it to defeat other uh, maybe TIE fighters, those A-wings, uh, and taking a few hits, return it to your hand, refresh it, drop it back down, attack with it again. Um, so it cost a bit to, to keep it maintained, um, but it's a reusable uh, way. The, the Falcon is super cool. Um, re really like the way it, it plays out in, in games of Twin Suns. And those are our big unique units uh, for, for the space. And then just adding a few events as well, um, kind of targeted removal um, with, with Takedown, with Vanquish, um, just giving you some, some more options um, was really the goal in here as you only get uh, two upgrades, uh, Luke's lightsaber and resilient uh, from the core deck and then only six events as well with the asteroid sanctuary repair, shoot first, surprise strike, vanquish, waylay. Um, waylay, a pretty good target removal, making them pay for something large again. Um, but just kind of adding a few more, like Strike True, a friendly unit deals damage equal to its power to an enemy unit. Get that target removal. You have these 
these big bodies towards the end of the game uh, for only three resources, you can turn one of those uh, big capital ships into targeted removal. Um, on the same turn, um, not necessarily needing to get that attack off with it. Again, it's a lot of, lot of resources, uh, but if you're kind of in the late games, you're gonna have those resources. Um, I suggest kind of ending your resources um, on 10. Um, that's usually a good amount, uh, but if you have a, a lot going on in your hand, kind of building up to 12, that way you can play a couple big bombs. Um, towards the end game is what you, you, you can't really do with this deck, um, but but 10, uh, that way um, you have a couple things, possibly from the beginning of the game. If you get that Lando down, drop it, grab two of your big bombs back. Um, but 10 definitely uh, is a good amount for the curve of this deck. And then finally, just kind of bringing it all together. Uh, like I said, you're going to use um, Leia and Luke uh, to, to finish out the game. Uh, Leia, you're going to get those couple attacks in uh, with the Rebels. And then um, with Luke Skywalker, you're going to give shields. So you're kind of attack and defense at the same time. And all the, the Rebels are really going to help with that. There's not too many that are too large. Uh, Lando, he's a six. Their Luke Skywalker unit is going to be a seven. Um, but making sure that you kind of build out your um, your arenas. Building out your arenas uh, before you start going on to the, uh, the aggressive is going to be what you need to do with this deck. Uh, really build out what you're going to do. Don't pick a fight with anybody. Um, you can still kind of protect yourself, um, just not making too many big political swings, trying to be the arch enemy um, so that when you get Luke and Leia out, you can kind of swing all at once. Um, that's kind of your goal. Uh, kind of sit in the back, protect yourself, and then one big swing there at the end. Um, we'll definitely have some gameplay uh, with this deck as well as the Vader Imperial deck. It's going to be Vader and Emperor Palpatine, which we will kind of look at the, the deck core for that. Uh, we're going to have the entire deck list um, down in the description so that way you can kind of look see what cards you have kind of build onto it um, not too crazy like i said the luke skywalker is going to be kind of the most expensive card um, in the build but everything else is really commons uncommons um, really less than two three dollars uh, for the most part um, and i will have um, all the cards that i pull extra i'll have in my tcg uh, player store um, down in the description as well but in the meantime don't forget to uh, let me know what you think um, how kind of would you build your own loop lay deck um, what cards am i missing what kind of where, where do you want to see the channel what do you uh, want more of want less of um, in the meantime, thank you. May the force be with you. Bye.